This is the min and max setting found underneath the extended functions. It is using 50 hertz because we're using the receiver on its own. You get two screens, one at the bottom is your max, top screen is your min screen. We have a cable that's running here. And we are standing more or less on top of it and we are going to move perpendicular across it. So I look at the max screen at the bottom. The goal is to get the number in the center as high as possible and to get the graphics as high as possible and the inverse at the top. So let's just move to the right. The number drops down in the center at the bottom and the opposite happens at the top screen and then we move to the left. So if you get a symbol like that, it means it's overloaded. You can go to the gain setting and drop your gain down a little bit because it's too sensitive. So it's going to overload on the device. So I've dropped the gain down and it looks better. So we've got 50, 51 and if we move this way, 52, 53, the refresh is really slow. You need to move slowly and it drops right down there. So it looks like the cable would be more or less over here. We could increase the gain a little bit more, but not too much. So that is our goal, is to get a heel at the bottom screen for the max screen and to have at the top screen the opposite. On the screen it also shows us hold up arrow to change to LS mode. If we do do that, it switches to wideband and if you do it again, it switches to radio mode. We are only looking, if you press it a third time, it will switch back to 50 hertz. We are only interested in the 50 hertz in this mode. If you wanted to use the radio wideband, then you could check um, telecoms or security cables, or you check a much larger frequency band. But we are only interested in the 50 hertz in the Minimax mode.